MSB here, and holy cow, the makers of Magic the Gathering are suing the makers of Hex. This recent filing has been making big waves, and in addition to talking about this news, I'll also be announcing the winner of the closed beta key in this video. Now, if you didn't know, Hasbro, the company behind Wizards of the Coast, who makes Magic the Gathering, has filed a lawsuit against Cryptozoic Entertainment, claiming patent, trade dress, and copyright infringement. The Hex forums have been ablaze with activity since the announcement, which made me want to touch on the subject. There was a fantastic write-up from a Magic the Gathering fan site manager, who's also a lawyer, which I feel summed up the points in the litigation in a relatively unbiased way. If you want to read it, the link is in the description below. The main point was that basically there is some legal merit to parts of the suit. Looking at it from Cryptozoic's side, uh, they already stated that they had looked at the possibility of a lawsuit even before the Kickstarter began. And back then, they didn't think Hasbro would have a leg to stand on. Remember, so much of what makes Hex unique hasn't even been implemented. Questing, dungeons and raids, keeps, characters, gear, and more. When seen as a whole instead of just the portion we have now, Cryptozoic believes that there is just too much difference between the two games. Now, speaking frankly, you do have to be pretty obtuse to not agree that similarities do exist between some of the mechanics of Hex and some of the mechanics of Magic. But is that enough to make Cryptozoic pay Hasbro money? Well, maybe, because legal system. Is it enough to shut down Hex? Based on everything I've read, I don't think so. There may have to be a UI update or some reconfiguration of cards at the playfields, perhaps, but I think Hex is running a bit too fast now to completely derail. It's obvious that people have been waiting for the next-gen TCG, which really takes advantage of the digital environment. This game would definitely come out even if Cryptozoic got bled dry and was taken over by Hasbro, which I think is really the worst-case scenario. The demand for Hex, even in its current limited state, is just too great to make the game vanish without a trace. In the end, I think Cryptozoic was prepared for this. The Hasbro statement indicated that they have been in touch with Cryptozoic since March, and I don't think that the partnering of Hex with Gameforge, a large European publisher, was a fluke. I think this gives them a lot more firepower to defend against this suit. I think the lawsuit could have repercussions, either graphically in-game, or possibly on Cryptozoic's bottom line, or heck, maybe not even at all, which is what, of course, I'm really hoping for. I'd love for this to just sort of blow by the wayside. But there is one thing for certain. No press is bad press. I've already seen examples of new people coming into the Hex forums and an influx of interest in Hex thanks to the news of this lawsuit. In the end, this just may be what Cryptozoic needed to kick Hex into the mainstream. But now I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. Moving on, I received a fantastic amount of input in the closed beta key video. Every comment will continue to shape the types of videos I make moving forward. So thank you for taking the time to leave those comments. And now, to announce the winner, Dampiel Russ. Congratulations! Your beta key has been sent to your YouTube inbox. Now, if you didn't win, don't worry. I'll have more keys to pass out for sure, so keep an eye on my channel. And while you're at it, please leave comments letting me know what you do and don't like any time. And as always, I'm MSB, wishing you good games and good times.